Our journey begins in the far-off magical nebula known as Kyperia, a land of myths and monsters, comets and combat, and of course, dungeons and dwarf planets. It is here, in an average everyday space tavern, that we meet our heroes. Lady Arissa the Rogue, Helmaeus the Wizard, and of course, the noble hero and paladin, Sir Pluton. Together, they would face a rising evil, a sinister shimmer, spreading throughout the land and- Wait, I'm sorry. What's a tavern again? It's... I don't know. It's a fantasy thing. Every party in Dungeons and Dwarf Planets meets in a tavern. Well, what does it look like? I don't even know what to imagine for that. It's just a place where astral bodies meet. Just imagine any place where you meet others. Perfect. Can we continue now? Come on, just give it a shot! Didn't you want to do some team building? This is perfect! <sighs> sure. Let's go, Space Tavern. The heroes, like so many before them, met by chance and realized that they were all looking for the same thing. Adventure and coin. So they began talking about their backstories and breaking out into fun and snappy banter. Subtle. Well, I don't have any backstory prepared. How about you, Hamea? Well... I... I don't want to go first. Okay then, Noble Knight Sir Pluton. How about you? Do we have to do the Sir Pluton thing? Well, can't I just be Pluto? This whole fantasy name thing is silly, right? All of this is silly. Why stop here? Alright. Well, yeah, I'm Sir Pluton then. I used to be a noble. Until the other nobles decided that I shouldn't be a noble anymore. So I was banished from my lands and now I'm a traveling adventurer looking for other adventurers like me. Boy, what could this be a metaphor for? Well, Sir Pluton, then you would be the first to notice that one of those nobles from your past just entered the tavern. Hear ye, hear ye. Any adventurers here ready to do some work for a planetary body of high birth? Wait a minute. Why does the noble have to look like Venus? Who's Venus? He doesn't look like anyone. I haven't even described him yet. Oh, uh, c carry on. Hey, have you heard about our good friend Patreon? Up, 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 don't skip just yet. Just hear me out. Our team has made a challenging decision. We want to post longer videos more often. We want content that you enjoy, not stuff the algorithm tells us you want. Otherwise, our channel would look something like this. I've sent all my humans into space, and the first to colonize a planet wins a bazillion dollars! Okay, that's actually pretty cool. But you get the point. By supporting our Patreon, you'll help us to make three long videos every month, plus all the amazing rewards we have for you. But narrator guy, I don't know what those rewards are. Well, how about early content? This video has been on Patreon for some time now. Behind the scenes, deleted scenes, your name in the credits, tutorials by the creators on how to make an animated show, and an exclusive look at the development of the Astro Dude movie. And can you tell me the tiers, narrator guy? Of course! Comet, Moon, Planet, and Star. Each with their own unique rewards so everyone can join our mission. Any support is always welcome. However, keep in mind that the higher tiers have a limited number of people that can join. So if you're interested, you better be quick. Thanks to all the Patreons that already support us. And to the new ones, welcome to the team. All right, back to the video! Well, if it isn't Pluton, haven't seen you since your disgraceful banishment. What's it like being a low life? Uh, hi, Mr. Noble. I, uh, yes, my, my banishment. Uh, uh, okay, no, this isn't gonna work. I can't do this. Let me handle it then. Hey, Lord Venus, that's your name, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? If it helps with your aversion. You said you were looking for a quest? Well, I'll have you know, a rogue like me can get a lot of things done but only for the right amount of coin. So, what's it gonna be? And what's it gonna be worth it to you? Whoa, wow, Eris, you're doing great. That's Lady Arissa to you? <laughs> wow, this is actually a lot of fun. Well, Lady Arissa, if you really wanna know, my orbital castle has been taken over by a malign presence, a real bad, no good evildoer, and I need some heroes to get rid of him. You even get to keep all the riches you find there! 
That is good coin. You got yourself a deal. I don't get it. How could you be so chill with a planet? I... what? It's not like it was a real planet. Ahem! You mean a noble? Well, the noble was real enough in my mind. I couldn't confront him. Well, it's not like you got anything to fear from real nobles, either. What are they gonna do? Talk down to you? I... I guess. Well, you're good at handling them, at least. I'm sure that's gonna be useful. Useful? What's that supposed to mean? I... Uh, hey, Sir Pluton, roll me a perception check. A what? Just roll one of those dice. <sighs> oh, boy. Well... As Sir Pluton pondered his complex relationships with the nobles of his past, he completely forgot to look around, steering the party right into an ambush! W what? How could I miss that? Unfortunately for Sir Pluton, Asteroblins are very sneaky creatures, especially if you roll a natural one. They get to strike first. Lady Orisa, does a 12 beat your armor class? Um, no. My armor class is higher than that. Then the Asteroblin fails to hit you. The others do hit you, though. Sir Pluton, you're up. W what can I do? Hit them with your sword. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's a crit! Your slash is enough to shatter three of the Asteroblins coming for you! R really Wow, that's... that's awesome! Well then, it's Halmaeus' turn! Oh, alright. Uh... I want to cast a spell that's really good against this many enemies. Uh, let me... No, don't bother. I'll handle it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that! Hey! Let Haumea play. Well, technically his class can interject in another player's turn, at a price. See? It's all right, I can do it. Hey! I said I'll handle it. You do once. The price of your interruptibility is exhaustion. You've overexerted yourself and fall unconscious. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Wait, what? Oh, dang. Wow, Pluto. Great job. You really saved us from actually playing the game. Well, I didn't know I'd fall unconscious if I'd do too many fight moves. That's a dumb rule anyways. Gosh, we don't need to fight. That's not the point. You had to hog all the attention, right? Former noble couldn't let us help in the fight. I was just trying to win. That might be where you went wrong. There is no winner in Dungeons and Dwarf Planets. It's a team sport, but... What's the point, then, if there's no winner? Well, I don't know how planet games usually go, but with us, there doesn't have to be. I give you challenges, and you get to overcome them together. No one needs to be better than anyone else as long as everybody gets to express themselves. I guess, well, ever since my banishment, I don't think I got to express myself. Because I didn't want to be what I actually was. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. I know what you mean, but you know that you don't have to be like that with us, right? We're like you, you don't have to be anything else. Follow us, wretched adventurers! You wanted to take our king's castle and riches, right? Well, he wants to meet ya! Aw, oh, man. Bow down before Lord Solar Ball! Yes! Tremble in fear before my scary bright lights and solar flares and all the other stuff that happens outside the Kuiper Belt! You were fools to think you could beat me! <laughs> Wait, they didn't take our weapons off us, right? They did not! Well, that's good news! You're thinking what I'm thinking, right? Surprise attack while he's monologuing? Gladly, my lady. You can't be serious, right? Come on, there's no way we can beat the sun! Relax. If we dwarf planets stick together, we can do anything, right? Well, yeah, but not defeat the sun! That's madness! Oh, come on. It's just a game. Well, yeah, but what if it isn't anymore? What? Well, what do you mean? 
What are we gonna do when we have to face the actual sun? The other planets, when we stand up to them? There's just four of us. I don't care about planets. I only ever met two and they were just kind of annoying. You, you don't wanna change things? Our place in the system? I, I'm kinda happy with where I am. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm having a great time with my friends right now. I, I can't believe you. Well, I can't believe this. Well, what did you expect when you went looking for us? That we'd be your little dwarf planet army to take back your planet status? Is that what you meant by useful? I, I was expecting more than this. That you'd understand that planets- We've never had trouble with planets until you showed up and decided to make them our problem. Fine then, if you want to stay here, do it without me. Well, I can't live like this. Like what? A dwarf planet? Because tough luck, that's what you are. That's what we all are. And everyone except for you is totally fine with that. You? I? This was a waste of time. Udo, don't! Wait up! Well, not to be a bummer, but your chances in this fight look pretty bad now. 